Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. And today I'm going to talk about shipping with U.S. Postal Service priority mail and some of the nuances there, specifically with regular priority mail, flat rate priority mail, and something that a lot of people don't know about, it's the regional rate priority mail. So, you know, hopefully this will be informative for you, especially if you're kind of new to this online selling game. And uh, hey, subscribe. I look forward to comments. And with that, let's just jump right in. Uh, everybody's familiar with probably priority mail. The Postal Service, their ubiquitous red, white, and blue boxes. Um, you know, if, if you're if you're not, haven't really done a lot of shipping, you can ship something yourself with your own boxes and ship it priority mail. But the post office also has free boxes, boxes of different sizes. You can pick these up at the post office for free, or you can go online to their USPS.com, go to supplies, you can order boxes, I think they're in like packs of five. They'll deliver them to your house free of charge. Then you've got options, you don't even have to go out and get it. So that's that's a really good deal, avoids the cost of, of boxes if, if, if their boxes will work for you. All right, so the shipping cost for Priority Mail, it's based on location, how far you're, where you're shipping from and where you're shipping to, but it's also a dimensional weight, okay? So if I ship something, say from Alabama to Tennessee or Missouri or, you know, it's, it's not gonna be as expensive if I ship from Alabama to California. Uh, the distance, the further I go, the cost goes up. The other is this concept of dimensional weight. It's not just the weight of the item you're shipping, but it's the weight combined with the size of the box. And in fact, Priority mail, if you get any dimension over 12 inches, it can throw you into a large package situation. And I've got an example later where I show a, um, a priority mail um, cost that's around 21 bucks. And I put in a dimension and put a dimension up to like 16 inches from 12 inches. And it made that priority mail cost go up to over 50 bucks. It more than doubled it because it got into large package, meaning dimensional weight. So the, the caution there is when you, sh when you ship priority mail, if you're doing regular priority, you need to, if you have an item that's got a really large dimension and it's heavy, you, you do the calculation first so that you know how to price your item or price the shipping for your item. So you don't do free shipping on something, sell it for 20 or 25 bucks and end up having to pay 25 or 35 or 50 bucks and actually go in the hole on the item. So it's just if, if you have something kind of strange that's not fitting into a standard size box or any dimensions over 12 inches, strongly suggest you do that. Uh, I've been burdened on that. If, if you sell long enough, you're going to get burned on shipping where you miscalculated it. So that's, that's a word to the wise. All right, so let's look at the regular priority mail. You've got your cube boxes that you can get. These are about seven by seven by five or six inches. They're, they're kind of handy for certain shaped things. One that I find really useful there's this shoe box. It literally is the size of a shoe box. Uh, very useful for things, especially if they're kind of long and skinny. Fits in really nice, gives you that little bit of extra room there. Then you have a shirt boxes. They have these in different sizes. They have some that are really big, some of them that are thicker than others. And, you know, to just fit your item. If you can use a smaller box and it requires less packing, which is gonna mean less weight, which is gonna be less expensive shipping, then do the smaller one. But they have shirt boxes. Then they have, um, this is actually one that's a, they have boxes that are this size. It's more like the 12 by 12 by 6. Those work really good. So that's kind of some of the priority mail box sizes. Now, if you have flat rate shipping, that means that the box will say flat rate on it. Here's a small one the size of a book or kind of like a VHS tape. This one uh, here was like the 12 by 12. See how it says flat rate? Here's the deal. If you want flat rate, it has to say flat rate on it. You cannot take a regular priority mailbox and get a flat rate mailing on it. And in fact, I've made this mistake before where I've had a flat rate box and I just scratch out the flat rate and I've had the postal guys say, no, you can't do that. It has to go in a regular priority mailbox. I don't know if that's just a regular thing or it's just the guy I went to at that time, but if you don't want flat rate, then you need to use a box that just says like the large box and doesn't include the words flat rate and obviously if you need the flat rate you have to have a box that says flat rate on it so that's 
the great thing about these is if I if it if I had you know say I had 50 pounds and it put in here, I think the limit is like 70 pounds on priority mail. Uh, but if I had 50 pounds and it went in here, I could ship it for the same price as something that was one pound. So that's the great benefit of the large, um, medium, uh, or small flat rate boxes. But the value, one great value that a lot of people don't know about because a lot of post offices don't carry them, is there are boxes that are have regional rate. And there's a regional rate A and a regional rate B. I find the great value to be in the regional rate A boxes. Here's a little shirt box. Um, this is uh, the dimension on this is um, it's like a it's like a 11 by 12 by by two and a half. A lot of stuff fits in this. Then there's a, like this little rectangular box. It's regional rate A. Now the thing is is that sometimes these regional rate A boxes and and regional rate B looks the same, but it'll say regional rate B. I find that the regional rate Bs don't offer much between priority and flat rate, but the regional rate A. If it'll fit in there and ship, sometimes you can save 30 or 40 percent on the cost using regional rate A boxes. And here's an example. I don't have something fancy to fade in with graphics on the screen, so we're going to go old school. And here's here's an example where I did shipping something from Alabama to Los Angeles, and I did two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, and five pounds. So if I take a two pound item and I want to ship it from LA, uh, from Alabama to Los Angeles, AL to LA. Uh, priority mail it for a two pound box is going to cost me $13.90, okay? If I want flat rate, large would cost me $21.90. So for that uh, size or for that weight, it doesn't make sense. But then if I have a medium flat rate, it's $15.50. Still doesn't make sense. But look, my regional rate A is only $11.60. I just saved over $2 off of the priority mail rate using a regional rate A box. And again, the regional rate B, I don't find it to be very useful personally. As the weight goes up, the regular priority mail cost goes up. So when I get to a four or five pound box, it's 21 to $24 with a regular priority mailbox. I can ship that flat rate for 15 to 21, 21.90 if it's a medium or a, a large rate. So as the weight goes up, those flat rate boxes are the real value. However, if it will fit in a regional rate A or a regional rate B boxes, as the weight really goes up, you start to, to, to gain some value. And especially with the regional rate A box, there is great value there if it'll fit. And there's a couple, there's only like two sizes. There's the little shirt box and then the, the, the smaller rectangular box here that was a, um, I don't know, this was, what I say this one was, um, 10 by seven by five, roughly. All right, so that's a good one. So. You can't find those a lot of times at post offices. Get online and uh, get the post office to deliver them. So to recap, priority mail, you can use your own packaging, but you can get free boxes from the post, post office. You can get those at the post office or you can get online and get them shipped to you for free. You have three kinds of priority mail. You have regular priority, flat rate priority, and regional rate priority. And it always pays to, to look at the size of your item, see which box it'll fit in, and see if you can get some good value, some good, some good uh, discounts using either a flat rate or the regional rate boxes. Remember, it's, it's a, not only the location, the distance you're shipping, but it is a dimensional weight as well. So if you've got something over 12 inches, you need to check it out because that, uh, that case there of shipping something to LA, if I had a dimension that was like 16 inches, these $20 go up to like 53 bucks for a large package and you can get completely hosed on your shipping cost. So that's it. That's, the, that's a little bit of insight to using priority mail shipping and some of your options. Don't forget those regional rate A boxes. They're great value, and I hope that helps. So look forward to comments. Again, subscribe, give some comments, and hey, have fun out there. You know, happy hunting and all that kind of stuff. Hope you find some good treasure, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.